In this video, we are going to take a look at how to create and save a new user role in NX. Roles are configurations of the user interface that allow us to hide and show specific commands as well as save them in different locations. We can create various NX environments using roles that encourage efficient workflows for different applications. To do this, we need to make sure that on our resource bar, we can see the roles tab. So I want to make sure that that's checked for visibility. And then I can click on that roles tab. And we have a couple of out of the box folders here, content, content industry specific and presentation. Content is going to allow me to show different things in different spots in my user environment where presentation roles are going to allow me to adjust some settings based on the kind of equipment that I'm using to run NX. To create a new user role, I can right click in the open area and on that menu, I can select new user role. This will take me into the role properties dialog. And here I can name a new role. Say Sherpa design. If I had an image to add, if I'm creating a lot of different roles, then I can present different images to myself for quick selection. Uh, I can also add a description of the kind of role that I am creating as well as picking a role type. So the content or presentation type, most of the time I leave this as content and presentation. And then under applications, I want to make sure that I can see the role that I'm creating. And so I want to make sure that include all is checked for those applications. And so it gives me this long list of applications that are already checked and that should be on by default. So once I create the new role, I click OK. There's a new user folder on the roles tab that appears and my roles will appear underneath. Now, why am I creating this role? Because I want to have different configurations of my user environment for the different kinds of tasks I'm completing on a daily basis. You know, if I'm working in sheet metal application, I can change to my sheet metal role. If I'm working in drafting, maybe I have a drafting role. If I have a specific task, where I'm patterning something over and over again, there's certain tools that I use for that all the time. I can change to say my pattern role uh, if I want. I can make everything pretty specific with this. And how that works is if I were to say add a button to my home tab in modeling that I use all the time. And for this, I'll go into the customize area. I can search in this customize area for a command um, for this one, I'll go draft body. That'll pop up in the list and I can simply just drag this button up to my home tab. And I'm doing this while I'm in modeling. As soon as I have that button there, I can close this and it'll keep that change. But I want to keep that change for say switching back and forth between roles. And so I want to save it to this role that I just created. So I'm going to right click on that new role and select save role. Now that I have that role saved, if I were to say use one of the out of the box roles that NX gives me, we have advanced, essentials, welcome, and I change to advance, that button is going to go away. because that is part of my user role. If I go back to my user role and I apply that user role, it's going to show up again. So I can switch back and forth between the multiple roles that I'm creating or the ones that NX gives me out of the box. Now, once I've created this role, I might want access to it on another machine or someone else might want access to it. And I can get to that. I can save out this role file. If I go to file preferences, user interface. So I'm entering into my user interface preferences. And I want to go to the roles section in this dialog. And here I can select to save out a new role. It'll allow me to save an MTX file of that new role, or I can go ahead and load a role and I can go look for that role. 
I can also reset the current application's layout or see what the last applied role is. Once I've saved the role or loaded the role that I want, I can hit apply or okay. And now we're ready to continue to create new user roles.